Hello everyone and welcome to Typhoon Hill tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we will be focused on a microgrid library and example from our microgrid uh, folder examples. And uh, here with me is our engineer Simisha and my name is Biljana and we will be uh, leading you through this tutorial today. Uh, the example that we are going to cover is microgrid with three wind turbines and energy storage. And Simisha, uh, you can start explaining us this model and maybe give us first just some small introduction to our software for our listeners who are not familiar with Typhoon Hill Control Center. Okay, thank you. Bilena, my name is Simisha and I'm application engineer in Typhoon Hill. So today, as Bilena said, uh, we're going to present you one microgrid example. So here also by my side we have Hill 604. So, for you guys who are not familiar with our software, let me just uh, go through it just to see uh, our toolchain. Okay, first thing here we have a uh, schematic editor uh, where you're going to spend most of your time. Uh, next thing is, is Hill SCADA where you actually run your simulations. Uh, next thing here is Typhoon Test IDE. This is a place where you write your Python uh, scripts and automate tests and also uh, final thing here is test suite where, where you actually have already prepared the tests for for your converters okay okay so maybe before starting explaining our model you can just give us some brief description of user interface in our schematic editor of course uh, on our left side we can see uh, library explorer this is the place actually where you uh, can find all the components that you need for your uh, model. Uh, we are focused in this model on microgrid. Uh, here we can find uh, all component, almost all components that we are using in this, in this example. Uh, there is also a message console where you actually see some results of your compilation. Uh, and uh, you can see also your schematic editor. Okay, this model you can find in file, uh, open example model, microgrid, wind farm microgrid, microgrid wind farm. So there is also a bunch of other microgrid uh, examples. Okay, so let me just try to introduce you with our model. Uh, here uh, we have uh, three wind turbines, we have battery uh, inverter, uh, also together with uh, underground cables uh, also there is one uh, constant impedance power load uh, together with uh, uh, high voltage transformer uh, contactor grid measurement and three phase uh, voltage source also together with that there is uh, one relay and also microgrid control so in this microgrid control there is simple state machine where we uh, define our states. Okay, so uh, in this example we used uh, uh, wind power plant average models. Okay, so maybe uh, we can just notify here why we use average models instead of switching ones. Uh, in this application we use, uh, uh, like you said, average models. We can see that there is no any converter. Uh, instead of converter we use three independent voltage sources, uh, which are con uh, controlled by signal processing uh, unit. So here is the control for, uh, for this uh, average model. And there is also LCL filter together with, uh, with contactor. So uh, the same approach is used uh, in battery inverter. So let me just briefly show you. Uh, there is one uh, different thing only because uh, in this case we have uh, also a DC link. Like I said, uh, average model represents uh, is represented by three uh, three independent water sources, uh, and we have also LC filter in this case. And there is also converter measurement and grid measurement. There is also contactor. 
Okay, so before we compile our model, uh, it would be nice just to mention that here with us we actually have a hill 604 for doing our simulations, but are there any other hills that we can use for doing those simulations? Uh, this model is prepared actually for hill 402 and uh, it can also be run on uh, our virtual environment, virtual device. Uh, so in this case we are using hill 604. So, uh, okay, uh, now let's, let's compile this model and run. Okay, and uh, what is simulation step that we actually use for a compilation? Uh, time step in this case is 5 microseconds. Okay, so this is our hill SCADA, and as you can see, on our left side there is a lot of widgets that we actually can use for uh, monitoring signals of interest as action, monitoring, data logging, analysis and easily just by drag and drop we can use it in our uh, working space and uh, on our right side there is a uh, model settings where we can actually adjust our uh, settings to a particular situation Okay, thank you Biljana for this introduction so uh, let's start this simulation So we run our simulation and we can see here that we read actually uh, wind speed. Okay, uh, but how is that basically done? From where we get that data connected with the wind speed? This is a really good question. So in this model uh, we actually read wind speed from a file. Uh, so here we can see that uh, there is launch uh, lots of uh, values of wind speed this is is uh, this values is in meter per second here we can see that we have lots of sub panels so let's find out what is in wind turbine sub panel so uh, here we have we can see that we have pretty nice monitoring of our wind turbine Okay, so basically this is also our predefined hill scale that we are using for this particular simulation. Yeah. Yes, uh, actually every hour microgrid component has its own uh, SCADA, so you can find it in uh, example models. Uh, so uh, this is one predefined. Uh, easy way to uh, do some changes here is just to change the name of path to component, path to input, path to output as well as uh, small changes in uh, base values. So we can see same name here. Okay, thank you. Okay. So here we have also a few other measurements for a wind turbine. In this case we can follow uh, active and reactive power as well as RMS values of current and voltages. Uh, there is also a 10 kilowatts uh, bus where we actually can monitor uh, active uh, and reactive power from our uh, from our uh, wind turbines. There is also a consumption measurement. So here we can find uh, currents and voltages as well as active and reactive power. Uh, there is also battery inverter panel. So here we can see that we are now uh, working in grid following mode, which means that we are now connected with the grid. Uh, we can see switch state here also. Okay, and there I can see also some kind of fault button. Uh, are we going to simulate some faults there that are partic in particular of interest for us? or? Yes, this is a really good question. So uh, we can also simulate uh, some uh, gri uh, grid faults. In this case, uh, we simulate that uh, actually our uh, voltage, uh, we have black down in grid. So let's see how that affects on our uh, measurements. So to see that, the best way is go to capture. Uh, import settings from scope uh, also uh, it's good thing that we can set our trigger that triggers on PCC contactor and uh, let's see what will happen when we run the fault so let's trigger 
Now let's do some fold in grid. Here we can see uh, transitions during our fold and in this case uh, we, we use actually our button inverter as grid forming component in our microgrid. Okay, thank you Simisha. So if this was everything that you wanted to show us today, then let me uh, just give a quick overview of what we have learned today. So basically we started by explaining Typhoon Hill Control Center and its main tools. Then we opened Schematic Editor and there we got familiar with its user interface. We learned where we can find example model and of course we learned what is difference between switching and average model. Also, we learned on which hills we actually can run our simulation. Then, when it comes to running simulation, there is a hill SCADA. There, we also get familiar with the hill SCADA user interface. Also, we learned how we can import data connected with the wind speed. And of course, the most important thing, we learned how we can insert faults and how we can observe them in the capture by triggering.